Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about a topic that is both timely and timeless, race and racism. This is a subject that affects us all, regardless of our own racial or ethnic backgrounds. It's a topic that can be uncomfortable, but it's also incredibly important. Because the way we understand and talk about race has profound implications for how we relate to each other as human beings. Let us first understanding race. Historically, the concept of race has been used to categorize humans into populations or groups based on various sets of physical characteristics. But over time, our understanding of race has evolved. Today, we recognize that race is not just about physical differences, but also about cultural, social, and historical experiences. There are several theoretical perspectives on race, such as functionalism, which emphasizes the role of societal structures and systems in shaping our perceptions of race, conflict theory, which views race as a source of social tension and conflict, and symbolic interactionism, which suggests that our perceptions of race are shaped by our interactions with others. These perspectives highlight the complexities and nuances of race, reminding us that it's a social construct influenced by many factors. What is the problem with racism? Racism, the belief that some races are inherently superior or inferior to others, has had devastating impacts on individuals and societies throughout history. It's a form of prejudice and discrimination that can lead to social inequality, injustice, and conflict. Racism can be systemic, embedded in the institutions and structures of our society. It can manifest in many ways, from racial profiling and discrimination in the criminal justice system to disparities in education, housing, and healthcare. These systemic forms of racism perpetuate inequality and injustice, affecting the lives of millions of people. But what if we could shift our perspective? What if, instead of focusing on race, we focused on community? The term community emphasizes a sense of belonging, of shared experiences and common values. It's a term that fosters unity and mutual understanding. When we talk about the community of Japanese people or the community of people with yellow skin color, we're acknowledging our shared humanity while also recognizing and respecting our unique differences. Language is a powerful tool. The words we use can shape our perceptions, our attitudes, and our actions. By choosing to use inclusive and respectful language, we can help to challenge stereotypes, combat prejudice, and promote understanding. The term race has been used to divide us, to highlight our differences rather than our commonalities. But by choosing to use the term community, we can shift the focus from division to unity, from difference to commonality. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage each of you to reflect on your own use of language. How do you talk about race? How do you talk about people who are different from you? Can you choose more inclusive and respectful words? We all have a role to play in promoting a more understanding and empathetic society. And it starts with the words we choose to use. In conclusion, race and racism are complex issues that affect us all. But by shifting our perspective, by choosing to focus on community rather than race, we can help to promote a more inclusive and respectful society. Let's embrace our shared humanity. Let's celebrate our unique differences. And let's work together to create a world where everyone is valued and respected, regardless of their race, ethnicity, nationality, religion, or any other characteristic. Thank you. I rock the world with my I'm the best there is, no one's better than me I'm the king of